I'm wondering uh, what are the major differences, I guess, culturally, but also sort of on the field too, I don't know, so far. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a different way of doing pretty much everything. It's a different program at this point. Um, biggest things, I'd say, I mean, just the operations of everything, the way we, the way we even work out in the weight room is different. So from top to bottom, it's just a different place. What made you, I guess, what were the selling points to come back for you? I mean, I just love this place. So, for, I don't know, man, it's tough. It's tough to say the exact, like, when something clicked. Um, but just the the way, I'd say, Coach Smith and Coach M went about conversate, or making conversation with me, yeah. conversing, whatever. Yeah, I was going to say, there were probably some things, like, yeah. you know, when you go in the portal, and you're going through the staff change that you kind of have to kind of hit pause, but... I would yeah. imagine, like, what were the biggest things that you heard from them that you were like, oh, okay. I just liked who they were and how they how they were, man. I just like the, the the whole mantra of, of Coach Smith. I'm, I'm going to hear the – I'm not here to overpromise and underdeliver. And he just – everyone seemed very genuine and trustworthy from day one. So I just liked who they were as people, and that that's most important to me in talk most about, areas of life, people. Talk about the, I guess – you know, there's going to be some new approaches as far as O-line play. So talk about the differences in what you see and, and how you've been able to adapt. Yeah, it's just a different scheme and it's different techniques. So we're obviously still not, you know, all the way where we need to be with that yet. It's, it's day three of spring ball. Um, so it's just a whole different offense, a whole different scheme, and different way to do pretty much majority of our blocks. And, of course, it's football. There's going to be some overlap um, with certain concepts or whatever. But it's, it's pretty much almost completely different. So talk about some of those differences like that, that are noticeable, like that we could see with the naked eye. Uh, I think it's more just based on running. I'll say that. It's, it's more on running through people instead of just, you know, maybe traditional, like, blocking, as, as most people would probably think of it when they see it. Is just it running through. play that way? <laughs> I mean, that's like football, so put me in any offense, and I'll probably <laughs> have fun doing it. What are your, just your early impressions of Ian Child? I think you said he took some guys out to dinner and yeah yeah early impressions made and he's just a good dude and he's a fun fun guy funny guy to be around and uh he's great for us in the locker room and he's just a great dude and i, I enjoy him uh i enjoy his company <laughs> how were those steaks <laughs> they're really good <laughs> Calvin Prime's a good place you guys ran a pretty big bill for him <laughs> yeah I, I would think so <laughs> i felt bad man <laughs> i was like dude i'm just getting the cheapest steak there is i'm not gonna do this to you <laughs> you only have one steak right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What type of resources he been for as a guy who's had game day reps in this system? Yeah. Uh, how helpful has that been? I mean, he's been. I, I mean, he, he plays a different position. So I mean, Tanner's sure. been a more of a resource that I've been frequenting in terms of going at uh, and like asking certain things about the scheme or techniques, or whatever. But he's just been a, he's just a great guy to have around because he knows how everything's supposed to work. So just talking to him and he's been super positive with with everything. Obviously, there's going to be some lulls. It's a new scheme, new offense. Um, he's been super positive and, and very uplifting with that, and just a great guy to have around. Yeah. With so much newness, how how important is it to have some guys that have familiarity with the system, so you don't have to, you know, it's it's yeah. one thing to go to a coach, but also another thing to go to a teammate. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I think that's huge. I mean, just having the guys that came over, uh, Jack Velling, who lives in my building, and he's a great friend. Love that kid. He's awesome. Uh, Aiden, obviously, is our, our quarterback. He knows the offense pretty well. <laughs> and, and Tanner, that's that's huge for our room, and it's huge for our team to just get those, you know, head steps. I'm wondering about. Because it's different when you kind of come into a spring and you've already gone through a lot of the paces. You can't really build muscle memory and retention for something you haven't done yet. I guess mm -hmm. so. That's yeah. where we're right now. That, that's you're, this is kind of building towards fall camp in a lot of ways. Yeah, I mean, and we've been building towards spring ball as well. So yeah. we've been doing OTA, OTAs and, and just drills as long as we've been allowed to. Um, a lot of stuff just on our own as players without coaches. Um, if we were allowed to do it, we were out there. Still a lot more. How 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 critical is that learning piece this spring? Oh, it's huge. I mean, it's huge. I mean, it's great to get the reps in, in live team periods against the defense, um, but it's it start. It didn't start now. It started as soon as we were able to. Do you feel like the drill work translates pretty well to the practice field? Like Derek was saying, that the drills they do for D line kind of move pretty well over on the field. Definitely. I mean, every block we do in in Indy is or drill work, not in practice, is essentially what we're going to do in a game. And what we're going to do in the game is exactly what we're going to practice. So, I mean, if we're doing a, a combination block between the guard and tackle, it's the same block that we're going to see in games. We're doing it different ways based on a, di a defensive look that's different. Does it feel less robotic, like, watching it out there? Like, even, like, it, it looks like when you guys are doing interior stuff, you guys are moving better together. It looks more like football. Yeah, I mean, it's starting to gel. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I'd 
say we were ever robotic, but I think we've always, at least the guys in the room, have uh, had a great way of like just attacking and being intentional about the work we're doing. Um, but yeah, we're, we're intentional about the work we're doing, and we're happy, and we're enthused, and we love going out there. Does it feel like a little bit of a new era in your room? Obviously, you have a new scheme and coach, but also, I mean, Nick played a ton of football. He's not here, and Spencer played a lot of football, and JD, you know, as well. With those guys leaving, for you guys as the players, does it feel like a bit of a new era or a turning the page type thing? I mean, a new era. <laughs> I don't know if I like if I were to be asked that question, would I call it a new era? I don't know. Um, it's it's different not having those guys. Like I love those guys. They're some of my best friends that I'll I'll have lifelong. I'm sorry about that. There's turnover at the leadership. I yeah, guess. it's, it's is, different. Is that fair to see? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's it's different. We don't have Nick, JD, and Spence. Those guys have been here for five years, so it's, it's definitely different in that respect. How about the difference between maybe six months ago uh, with the cloud and everything that was going on? It was it, it feel a lot more fun? Yeah. Back to it right yeah, now. definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm I've always been having fun playing football. Um, even through whatever was happening last year, I was still having fun with it. And I know there's a lot of guys on the team that were. But, yeah, it's definitely a lot easier for everyone to have fun right now. I know uh, you've, you're only a few practices in and everything, but in your room, are there some guys that you're looking at right now you think, oh, he could be, you know? Yeah, I think we got a lot of guys that are good at football and could play and, and be a, a big factor for us. If, if you want specifics, I'll say Christian Phillips and Gavin Brocious, Stan Lepo. I mean, Tanner looks pretty good. I mean, obviously he's been in the scheme for a while and he knows what he's doing. I mean, yeah, there's if I, and Baldwin, of course, he's been a, so, a solid guy for us for years now. And if I'm missing you guys, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot of guys in that room that can play and, and play well. And I'm excited to see them continue to develop um, in the rest of the spring and leading them in the summer and, and camp. Coach, um, what are sort of his priorities and main teaching points and things that you hear in your sleep, you know, from him? What are his big things? <laughs> get on your, you know, get to, Get your eyes where you need to go and, and move people. It's just his main thing is just we got to move them. That's our job. You start as a, you begin the season as a starter, and then you got injury and kind of on and off. Like, what was how difficult was it trying to build on the next step in the starter and physically kind of just limited? I mean, yeah, it sucked. I, there's I just, there's times that I, I couldn't go. It wasn't up to me, and it was unfortunate. I didn't I didn't enjoy it. It sucked. Who was it? With you? I'm, I'm not gonna say. Coach him seems like, like maybe fewer words when he's doing corrections. It seems a little bit maybe more more positive, or it, it seems like you know like when guys mess up, he's kind of giving. It's more constructive with his instructions. Is that yeah? They're, they're different coaches, so they coach different ways. Um, but for some of the young guys, it probably maybe helps not get maybe lit up. Maybe, maybe I mean not. I I never had a. Problem like in my because I've been getting lit up since you know, my coaches back in high school they were they were crazy too <laughs> so so I mean I, I've always kind of liked it and I still I like both coaching styles don't do not get me wrong and I think both are great and they're just different coaches so I don't know I mean you have to ask everybody in the room how they would think about it but when, I think both are great when you were in the portal they kind of wanted to, to know about you as well as you know about them I mean what was the biggest thing were, were you trying to sell yourself on, on them that you believe green and that type of thing is is that kind of what they wanted to know you were all in? Yeah, I mean, I, I never, I told them before I even entered the portal, I said I was going to, but 